Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here to develop the all main system to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. Before we get into some games for Major League Baseball for May the 2nd, I want to ask you to join. You'll have access to the VIP club section with all of the wonderful tools to help you make your picks. Now let's take a look at some of the games in the Major League Baseball as we have finished the first month of the season. Scroll down through here and take a look at some of these games for Sunday. St. Louis Cardinals and the Pittsburgh Pirates. In this clash of two nationally central teams, the Cardinals are in second place and they face the third place Pirates. The Cardinals are ice cold down at the moment. They have won two out of their last four games and four out of their last six. The Pirates are burning hot, having won four out of their last six. Look at the power ranking indicator. You can see here the Pirates are at plus 29. The Cardinals are at plus 12. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup. Team, the two teams have not yet played this season. If you're considering the over and under in this game, you see that the Cardinals are playing in games trending under the line. While the Pirates are also playing in games trending under the line. This is a good indication to bet the under in this one. If you're looking at what the scores could possibly be, the Z Code Scores Predictor shows that we have the Pirates with a 6-3 margin of victory, but with only a 51% confidence to take that with a grain of salt before you make your picks. Adam Wainwright should be on the mound for the Cardinals, although it's not showing it here. I have seen other locations that that who's who will be starting the game, but but make sure you see it here first before you go go with that. But he has been a very good bet, and because of that, I think the Cardinals will have enough to win on the road. The Atlanta Braves and the Toronto Blue Jays. The Braves are in the, in the mix in the tight National League East, and the Blue Jays are third in the American League East. You see here the Braves are ice cold down. And you see that they lost their last game to the Cubs after a three-game winning streak. The Blue Jays are burning hot. They have won four out of their last six. Look at the power ranking indicator. You see here that both teams are high. The Blue Jays are all the way up here at plus 29. They've been on, a, on an upward path. And you can see here then that the Braves are at plus 25. So both teams are doing very well as far as that goes. Uh, Ian Anderson is scheduled to pitch for the Braves. He is 2-0 and with a 2.48 ERA. And nobody is scheduled yet for the Blue Jays. They are undecided. If you look at the pitcher profit odds, you can see Ian Anderson is at plus 236. So he has been a strong bet so far. If you're considering the over and under in this game, you can see that the Braves have been trending in games over the line. And the Blue Jays have been trending in games under the line. If you look at the Z Code sports uh, scores predictor, excuse me. Uh, we'll take a look at this matchup. We can see it's only a 37.5% confidence, so take that with a grain of salt. Right now, we're thinking that the Blue Jays will win by a 10 to 3 margin, but again, check back as it gets closer and see if this confidence level has been increased. So, right now, I'm thinking that the Blue Jays will be the home fair and they'll have enough to win at home. The Cubs and the Reds. Here's another good matchup, the Astros and the Rays. Now here it says that the Astros have dead status, but really they have actually been playing pretty well. They lost their last game, but they have won four out of their last six. The Rays are averaged down. They have won three out of their last six, and they're coming off a loss. The power rankings indicator shows that both teams are very high. Look at Houston's at plus 29, and Tampa Bay is at plus 28. So this should be a very good matchup. Head-to-head, -head, the two teams have not yet met this season. Scheduled pitchers are Christian Javier for the Astros. He is 3-0 and with a 0 0.87 ERA. If, uh, so far, Tampa Bay has not posted their scheduled starting pitcher for this one. If you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, you can see that Christian Javier is a good bet, although on a small sample size, but he has been a good bet at plus $506. If you're looking at the over and under in this one, See, Houston is playing in games trending a little bit under the line, and so is Tampa under the line. So that's a good indication to bet the under. But let's see what our scores predictor shows us. And look at the scores predictor. Where is that game? The Astros and the Bulls. Find it here. I am not able to find the game. Is it on here? Yes, it is. There it is. The Astros and the Rays. So right now, this is showing an under. 
with a 4-2 score in favor of the Rays with a 57% confidence, so a little bit better than 50-50. So I think betting the under would be the wise choice, and let's go with the Rays to win the game. We went in Chicago, Kansas City, Minnesota, Dodgers and Brewers. Here's the next one we want to look at, the Red Sox and the Rangers. The Red Sox are burning hot at the moment. You can see that they have won four out of their last six, even though they're coming off a loss. And the Rangers are average up, and they have won two out of their last six and two out of their last three. Look at the power ranking indicator. You can see Boston has a huge edge there at plus 27 compared to zero for Texas. With the head-to-head -head matchup so far this season, you can see that uh, Houston won the only meeting between the games, the two teams, and that was the last game, and they won as a home underdog by a 4-1 to score. You can see the over and under in this one. Here's Boston playing in games trending under the line. Texas is playing in games trending slightly over the line. I'll probably avoid betting the over under in this one. Let's take a look at what the scores predictor shows us. And we go down here. It's showing here, but again, not very good uh, confidence here. Less than 50 50, less than a coin toss. But we are saying here with the Red Sox with an 8 to 3 win. But again, take a look back at this as it gets closer to the game and see if that has changed. The pitching matchup is. Garrett Richards for the Red Sox. He is one and two of the 4.94 ERA. And Mike Fultonmix for Rangers. He is one and three with a 4.61 ERA. And you can see that pitcher profit oscillator that both the team, uh, well, uh, both the pitchers have been in the plus. Let's see, plus 300. Yeah, no, plus 300 for Richards, but you can see there's at minus 37. So Richards has the edge in that category. So what do we think is going to happen with this one? I'm leaning towards the Red Sox to win this one on the road. They are the better overall team. And Richards is the better pitcher as far as profit goes. So I think that's how the game is going to turn out. we got the Orioles and the A's. We're not going to look at that one. There's one more matchup we want to take a look at for today. Let's scroll down through the list of games. Here it is. The National League East matchup. The New York Mets and the Philadelphia Phillies. The Mets are burning hot at the moment. Even though, if you look at this, they're showing that they have lost two, their last two games. The Phillies are ice cold down, and they have lost three out of their last six. David Peterson is scheduled to pitch for the Mets. He is 1-3 and three with a 5.59 ERA. Zach Eflin is going for the Phillies. He is 1-1 one one with a 3.58 ERA. If you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, how well have the two pitchers performed? Well, in terms of profit, here is Peterson at plus 99. F1 is at minus 254, so you can see that Peterson has been a much more solid bet than F1. Take that into consideration. You're considering the over and under in this game. You see the Mets have been trending way under the line. The Phillies have been trending under the line as well. This is a good indication to bet the under. Let's see what our scores predictor is showing us. The scores predictor is indicating, well, here's now this is a 76% chance of picking the Mets win by an 8 to 1 margin. So. That'll be nine runs total. Let's see what the over on the line is before you bet that. That's probably going to be close to being right around the line. So take a look back at the line before you bet that. Uh, anything else we can look at here in this matchup? Well, the head-to-head -head matchup between these two teams shows that the Mets have won four out of the six meetings so far this season. And the power rankings indicator also shows that the Mets are, well, actually, you know, the Phillies are up here at plus seven compared to the Mets here at plus five. Overall, I think that the Mets will continue to play well against the Phillies and come away with a win. Now, before we go, I want to show you how to choose the best. So I'll show you what I'm going to show you here. Let's scroll up to the top of this page here. How to choose best winning automated systems for May. So the new sports trader is a great way to do it. So I'm going to scroll down here, and you can take a look at this and read it. Here's the link for it. Zcodesystems.com backslash sports trader. And you can see how everything's going to look here as I scroll down through. Here, here's a screenshot of the trends that follow your system. You can take a look at that. And when you actually click on the uh, link, you'll see this will come up. And I'll scroll back up to the top so you have an idea. Here it is. It says sports trader professional version. 
download professional sports trader trial. So it's going to be a really helpful tool to help you uh, make your picks. And again, you can download it for the Windows, for the Mac, and Linux. So it has everything you need. So there you have it. Those are the picks for the week. Enjoy the games, and we'll see you next time.